Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the best apps that you can use to edit YouTube Shorts. So the YouTube Shorts camera is coming soon to the YouTube app as of the date of filming this video. But even if you're watching this video after the Shorts camera is released in your country or region, you may want to use some editing apps to create some cool YouTube Shorts videos. So if you're not familiar yet with YouTube Shorts, don't worry at all. In a nutshell, YouTube Shorts are short videos shot in vertical mode that allow creators to tell a story or share some information within 60 seconds. So I'll show you my top three favorite editing apps. And there are plenty of great editing apps out there, but these are my top three favorite apps for editing shorts because they offer plenty of great features in their free versions. And of course, you can go ahead and upgrade to any of the pro versions for each app, but there's plenty of cool features that you can use to make videos. Wait, am I allowed to say on YouTube? So there are plenty of cool features on these apps and I can't wait to show you what they do. So if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. I share video production and video marketing tutorials to help wellness business owners increase their visibility, generate leads and increase their income. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can get notified when I release new videos every week. All right, let's jump right into the demo. Okay, so here we are on Adobe Premiere Rush. The first thing we're gonna do is hit Add Media. And I'm gonna go into my favorites. I have a couple clips here I wanna import. So once I've selected them, I need to enter the project name. So I'm gonna do that quickly and then hit Create. And it is syncing right now with my desktop. It's syncing in Creative Cloud so I can access this project on my desktop, which is really cool. So you'll see here on the app at the top, we have the canvas where we can see what we're working on and also preview our video. And then we have the timeline underneath with our two clips that we just imported. And at the bottom, we have all of our controls. So we can go into our project assets, we can expand our tracks so that we can easily manipulate our different audio and video tracks. For instance, I can hide a track here. I could lock that track. So if I'm moving stuff around, this media on that track is not gonna move at all. Very useful, especially on a smartphone. And then we can definitely work with our audio tracks when we have those. Now, speaking of the audio tracks, if you want to separate your tracks, then what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to hold down on the clip and then you're going to separate audio. So again, tap on the clip, hold it down and separate audio. So now when we go back into our tracks, we can see our separate tracks here and we can actually move around our video and our audio and you can see they're linked together if I tap on it, but if I just tap on the audio, I can move it around on the timeline. So it's very useful. I find this app is definitely an intuitive app. And I love that you are able to see everything in vertical mode. So a lot of these apps, um, you might have to change it to landscape, but often we're holding our phones in vertical mode. So, you know, it's really nice that we have all of these features here where we can see everything lined up in vertical mode. And you can see I tapped on this little button at the bottom and that's gonna allow me to change my aspect ratio but we are all set because the video was shot in 916 and so the aspect ratio of this particular video is already set for us and ready to go at 916. And so then at the bottom here, I wanna just show you a few features. You can add your own graphics or you can choose from the library that Adobe Cloud has for you. So you can scroll through, you can see these titles 
that you can use. These are templates that you can alter. All you have to do is click on it and add it to your video. And you'll see here that it adds it as the separate track right here at the top. Now I'm just pinching and moving my two fingers out to zoom on the timeline. If I move my fingers in, I'm zooming in. So zooming out, I can see that title. I can see the layers of this title. And then I can easily go ahead and edit the text right there if I want to. So very cool. Now, another thing here that you have is effects. So if I want to add an effect, let's say between this palm tree and me talking, then I'm going to put my playhead right in the center and I'm going to click on dissolve. So let's see how this looks. We always want to preview when we add new stuff to the timeline. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Very cool. So we have a very cool dissolve that we just added. Boom. E so easy. So easy, you guys. And then we're going to scroll through and you can see that there's lots of other different types of transitions that we can add. Um, they call them effects, but they are transitions and um, they're not cheesy. A lot of times, you know, beginner video apps have a lot of treat cheesy transitions, but these are really cool ones. And then you also have your color. So you can go ahead and change your color. And then of course you can change the speed of your video and the audio. You can mute a certain audio clip. You can raise the volume and it gives you an auto volume. So you can do some, you know, really good sound mixing, reducing noise, on a particular clip, etc. So those are the basic features of Adobe Premiere Rush. I do go into more detail in my course, iPhone Video Mastery. If you're interested in checking that out, I will leave a link in the description, but I definitely recommend Adobe Premiere Rush because um, it's very intuitive and it has a lot of features for you um, if you're just getting started out with video. And I love the fact that it syncs up with Creative Cloud. Okay, so here we are on the KineMaster app, and I am using the free version. From here, we're going to create a new project, and I'm going to make it 916, which is our vertical video. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is import media. So we're gonna allow access to our photos, and I'm gonna go ahead and import a clip. So I've got a clip here that I've imported, and now I wanna show you around how you can add transitions and effects. You'll see here when I select my clip, there are lots of different options, which most of these options you will see on most editing apps. But the cool thing about Kind Master is that you can add loads of layers where you can add transitions, you can add visual effects, you can add different video clips and animations. So if I select layer and I go into effects, you click on this icon, which is the Kind Master Store icon. And you can see here, we have so many different options with transitions, with effects, with stickers, and we'll get to the music in just a minute. But let's say I want to add an effect to my video. So let's see, you know, you want to get familiar with all of these. This is a good idea to really think about the storyboarding for your video. So what kind of effects and transitions do you want to have in your video? Think about that as you go through and you get familiar with all the assets here, and then you can put together your video. So let's go ahead and use this intensifier color effect, and I'm gonna download that. And once you download, it's gonna ask you to watch a video if you're on the free version, it just takes a couple seconds. So now I've installed that particular effect. And so when I go back here, this is my library. Let me show you from the beginning here. Layer, effect, and now these are the effects that I've downloaded from the Kind Master Store. 
So let's try this intensifier. I just select it and now I've added another layer. <laughs> and it's, you know, definitely adding some color there, but let me show you something else that's maybe a little bit more dramatic like this tile art. So you can see, let's just go ahead and play the video. So that's pretty cool. And you can really play around with these effects by moving them around. You don't have to use it full screen. And you can, of course, make it longer or shorter on your video clip just by tapping on it and zooming in and out by expanding, sort of, you know, pinching your two fingers together or expanding your fingers to zoom in and zoom out. And so then if you do want to add audio, there's loads of audio options as well. So let's go back to the Kind Master store. And you can see there's lots of, of different genres of music here. So if I was to add, for instance, how about Smile? Again, it's going to have you watch this ad. So now it's installed. When I click on Smile, all I have to do is hit the plus button. And so the smile music is right here in my timeline. When I select that clip, I have lots of different options for audio mixing. This is actually quite robust for a free editor and you can, you know, play around with this and adjust your sound levels to make some really cool sound effects and make your video stand out. So the last thing I'll show you is when you export your video, you get to select your resolution as well as your frame rate and your bit rate. So you'll want to know, you know, for YouTube, it's usually 1080, 30 frames, and about a 10 megabytes per second bit rate. Now, when you do export, it's going to say, if you're on the free version, you have to watch an ad to be able to export. That's okay. You can do that. And then you can get a version which is going to be with a watermark. And so I'm gonna show you the exported version and you'll see the watermark is really not that noticeable. So you'll see here's the exported video and it has that Kind Master logo right on the upper right hand side, but it's not really a big deal. It's not that noticeable and you can certainly use the free version without upgrading, but it's not that expensive to upgrade as well. And I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so as you can see, we are on InShot. We're gonna click on video and we're gonna import two video clips. So as you can see here, this is the InShot canvas and I can scroll through at the bottom and just see my video clips. They're lined up here on the timeline. Now the first thing that's very important that you wanna do is set your aspect ratio. You want to set that to 916. So what I do like about InShot is that when you first log on to the app, you're not going to see it here in my window, but when you do first log on, it's going to tell you how to use a lot of these really basic features. And it's very helpful because when you first look at the app, you don't really know what some of these features do. So for instance, you can split a clip just like you can on any editor, and I'm just highlighting the clip, just tapping on the clip, selecting it. Now, if I double tap on it, I'm able to see a zoomed out view. You see there at the bottom, this is the zoomed out view of my timeline, and I can click that arrow to go back and zoom in. So a couple other features that you may not know about when you first look at this, this PIP button, that is called picture in picture. So what if I wanted to add something to my picture? Um, <laughs> you can add anything. You can add, you know, uh, a still image. You can add a video, but there might be a reason you want to add a picture in picture for the story that you're creating. 
Okay, so if you go into filters, you can add some interesting effects. And as you can see here, the ones that are in color are the ones that you can use for free. The black ones, you have to upgrade to pro. But there's quite a lot that you can use here um, under the free features. So, you know, you just want to add some variety to your videos. And this is called a pattern interrupt. So you want to keep people's attention, especially on your stories, so that they'll keep watching because every single frame of your story is what you need to keep people's attention. So think of adding some effects to your videos. And then the next thing I want to show you is adding stickers or GIFs to your video. So you actually can access the GIF library. You could add a GIF if you wanted to, um, you know, just to keep the video flowing. You want to keep people's attention. So you can search for anything that you want. And as well as on the stickers, you know, maybe I want some cute stickers on my video and I can adjust the position, you know, decide where I want this to appear in the video. And then by tapping on the sticker, which is right above the video, if you see here down at the bottom here, you can see that I can actually adjust the time of the sticker to see, you know, how long do I want to keep this sticker on screen just by tapping and dragging on the sticker. Now, here's where things get even more interesting and this is where these editing apps can come in really helpful. So, in, in addition to your visuals keeping that pattern interrupt, you also want to add some music and sound effects. And InShot does allow you to add music. And you're going to need to be careful because not all of this is going to be royalty free, but um, you can add the musician's name, which I would highly recommend doing. Um, and so you can add some music without having to go into the YouTube library. And then you want to add effects. So here's some sound effects. Like what if we wanted, let's see here. Uh, Maybe we want some applause to come up when this heart goes on screen. So as you can see, that little sound effect is down on my timeline and we're having it play right when that heart comes on. So it just adds, you know, some extra visual and audio interest to your video. So there are lots of different effects that you can use, even animal sounds, you've got cow sounds. Um, and then the last thing that you can look at here is recording. So I can actually record my own audio. It's actually recording me right now. Um, I wouldn't want to record over me talking, but you get the idea. This would be if you want to add some narration or just add some extra audio to your video. So that is it for InShot. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, everyone. Let me know in the comments below which app are you most interested in trying out. I would love to hear from you. And be sure to like this video because it greatly helps out the YouTube algorithm. And also subscribe to my channel for more video production and video marketing tips every single week. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful day.